to Fine Cuisine and Etiquette with your host, Oliver Gerald, the Eater, your guide to the finer things in life. And dear God, what we're taking a look at today is not one of the finer things in life. More like having my testicles shredded by a school of piranhas. Whoever thought combining competitive gamers with competitive dude bros or Mountain Dew and Fireball, whoever thought combining those two was a good idea should be force fed a gallon of this rat's poison, a Mountain Dew flaming hot. The very notion that Mountain Dew and Cheetos should be within a thousand meters of each other could only spring from someone whose greatest accomplishment in life was winning the Beer Pong Championship. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There's plenty of time to call for the public castration of the liberal arts majors who dreamed up this unholy pairing of Mountain Dew and Cheetos flaming Hot. When PepsiCo released this abomination on the interwebs last summer, it sold out in less than an hour. Turns out plenty of virgins and frat boys have access to computers. Who knew? But lucky for those of us who want to know what the bubonic plague tastes like, they released Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot to the masses this year. I haven't been this excited since I played Hide the Sausage with a Cobra. And hell's this for earning your stereotype? For Mountain Dew's Flamin' Hot launch party, in hell, Michigan no less, one of the hosts was none other than Pauly D of Jersey Shore fame. And the famed Rhodes Scholar philosophized that when Mountain Dew asked me to go to hell, I thought they were messing with me. But then I realized they wanted my help to make hell even hotter with my fire beats. There is no one better to bring the heat. Yeah, buddy. Like a latter day T.S. Eliot. So Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot is the official drink of hell. And by the way, this is as good a time as any to point out that in official correspondence, the brand name is Mitten Dew, because spelling wastes precious brain cells. All right, so this is the worst idea since New Coke, but how's it taste? Oh, what in the holiest of holies? What the f What in the f ever loving f I just drink? I've woken up in pools of vomit more pleasant than that. Take normal Mountain Dew with its aura of radiated piss, add some cayenne peppers with a dash of cinnamon, and you've got Mitten Dew flaming hot. It's like a fruity Corona made sweet love to a bottle of Fireball, and this is their misbegotten Hellspawn. This is one of the most repugnant beverages I've ever had. It may come as a surprise, but spicy pepper and carbonated urine don't mesh well together. Right when the CO2 bubbles hit your taste buds, the spice worms its way in, making for an extremely unpleasant and confusing experience. Everything about this liquid catastrophe just feels erroneous. Like the chicken colonel forgot six of his 11 herbs and spices. The only person who could possibly enjoy this is one lacking the necessary brain cells to fully process this scarlet debacle. So, Polly D, so I give this depraved abortion of a beverage one silver spoon out of five. And if you value your sanity, and you haven't had a lobotomy, you'd do best to stay far away from this debacle. My American fans might like it. Be sure to show your appreciation for my efforts with a like. And I shall return to educate the great unwashed messes and all those of good letters and breeding on the finer things in life and delightful cuisine.